Well, this world will crucify you and bring you to your knees. We all have a cross to bear for the things that we believe. Old Satan, you can throw your rocks, but I will not be moved. No, I won't live or die in fear because my Savior proved the cross. Held the nails, the stone sealed the grave, but death could not prevail. When the rock was rolled away, he lives forevermore in his eternal home. No, you can't keep a good man down with crosses and stones. With the cross of mercy, he carried God's will. Badly bruised and bleeding, he hung there on that heap. He cried, it is finished, and the soldiers took him down. When they checked three days later, they were shocked at what they found. The cross held the nails, the stone sealed the grave, but death could not prevail. When the rock was rolled away, he lives forevermore in his eternal home. No, you can't keep a good man down with crosses and stones. The cross held the nails, the stone sealed the grave, but death could not prevail. When the rock was rolled away, he lives forevermore in his eternal home. No, you can't keep a good man down with crosses and stones. Well, this world will crucify you and bring you to your knees. We all have a cross to bear for the things that we believe. Hold Satan, you can't throw your rocks, but I will not be moved. No, I won't live or die in fear because my Savior proved the cross held the nails, the stone sealed the grave, but death could not prevail. When the rock was rolled away, he lives forevermore in his eternal home. No, you can't keep a good man down with crosses and stones. No, you can't keep a good man down with crosses and stones. Amen. Amen. Verses number one. Isaiah 63 and one. Isaiah 63 and one. Who is this that cometh from Edom, who dieth garments from some place that is glorious in his apparel, his apparel travailing in greatness of his strength. I speak in righteousness, mighty to say. Brother, 63. You forgive me, will you, brother? I often say wrong. I could have said the wrong thing. Isaiah 63 and 1. I could have very easily said the wrong thing. My wife says I've got dyslexia and I believe her, I believe. I'll uh, say things backwards a lot of times and transpose letters when I'm writing and all kinds of stuff, you know. I don't know, but, but I know God's got it. Somebody say amen. But today, you know, many would say this verse is talking about Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I, I hope it is. I believe it is. It says he's mighty to save, and, and I believe that, don't you? Amen. I, I believe that Jesus Christ is mighty to save in this world. I believe that he spoke righteousness in this world. And I believe he came to, to save uh, the lost. Don't you? I, I believe he came to set the captive free. I, I'm here to tell you, I have no idea, but, but I know one thing, that 
My Bible tells me in St. John 14 and 6, amen, glory to God. It tells me, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father but by me. And that tells me today that Jesus Christ is mighty to save, amen. He's out to save us. Uh, He's out to pay the price for our sin, and you might want to make sure that I'm out of the house, amen, tonight. Amen, I don't want to... Want to bop nobody down, amen? I don't know. Can you hear me in the house or is that just all me? Amen. Pull me out of the house, Brother Tony. But but I'm here to tell you tonight about, about eight things about the power of Christ is, amen? Eight things that the power of Christ is. And to me, the first thing is, is he's mighty to save. And I'm so thankful that, that he came to save my life. I know that, that he said, Brother Will, I, I, if this cup can pass from me, but I'm so thankful that maybe on his mother's side, he, he him, that fleshly man really didn't want to pay that price. But I'm so thankful. Thankful, Brother Raymond, glory to God, that he was willing on, on his father's side, amen. Oh, that he was willing to go and die and pay the price for, for me on Calvary. And, and I'm here to tell you tonight that there's eight things, uh, I've, or I've got eight things wrote down about the power of Christ is. Uh, and the second it is, he's forgiven, amen. Uh, amen. In Matthew 9 and number 6, it says, But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins. Uh, then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise and take up thy bed. And thy house. oh, listen to me tonight. Are you glad that he's mighty to save? And I'm, not, I'm so glad that he's mighty to save. But I'm so thankful that he's mighty to forgive. Amen. I'm thankful that he's forgiven today. Amen. I'm thankful, uh, Sister Vicky, that he forgive me for every sin uh, that I've ever committed. Uh, but I'm thankful today that when I mess up, uh, since I've been saved, uh, I'm thankful that he's forgiven. Uh, I'm thankful for Psalms 130. Six or seven, I can't remember which one it is, but it says His mercy endureth forever, and I'm thankful for that mercy, aren't you? I'm glad that Christ has the power to save, and I'm thankful today that He's mighty to save, and I'm thankful that He's forgiven, aren't you? Amen. Praise God, I'm glad that, that Christ has the power over nature, amen. In Luke 8 and 25, he's got the power, amen, that is mighty to save. He's got the power that's mighty to forgive, but he's got power over nature. I'm reminded here, it says, And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commanded thee even the winds and the waters, and they obeyed him. Brother, he's not only got the power to save and the power to forgive, but he's got the power to tell whatever in this world to peace be still, and he'll do it, amen. I'm thankful for that, aren't you? I'm thankful that it don't matter how big the storm gets, how much, how much Brother Raymond, it gets over our head, and every once in a while, it gets over our head, amen. I'm thankful that Jesus Christ can say, peace be still, amen. I'm glad they power in the name of Jesus, aren't you? Glory to God. I'm glad tonight, amen, not only that he's mighty to save and forgiving and he's got power over nature, but I'm glad he's got power over his own life. Amen. In St. John 10 and 17, it says, Therefore do it, my Father, love me, because I, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. I, I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. I, this commandment I, I have received of my Father. Church, listen at me. I, yes, he didn't necessarily want to go to Calvary, but glory to God, he was willing to do the will of the Father. And I'm thankful tonight, amen, praise God, that he had the power, amen, to give his life for our sins. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful for that, aren't you? Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful that he's not only got the power to mighty, the power of Christ is mighty to save and forgiving and over nature and over his own life, but amen, the power of Christ that is life-giving. In St. John 17 and 1, it tells us this, These words spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes, to heaven and said, Father, 
the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may also glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. I'm glad he's got power. There's power in Christ for life. I'm thankful today that I answered the knock on my door and I've experienced that power of life in my life. Because that's what counts. So many have never experienced it and that's the problem. Somebody say amen. They've never got a good dose. Say amen. Glory to God. But Christ is all powerful. Amen. Not only is He mighty to save and forgiving and, and a power over all nature of this world. I, I mean, brother, I want you to think about that a minute. Not anything was made that was made, but it was made by His hand. Amen. I want you to think about it. God the Father, when, when He went over in Genesis, He said, Let us make man in our image. Amen. Glory to God. And then it tells us that all things were made by Him. Aren't you glad today that you know Jesus, the one today that's mighty to save, that's forgiving, that, that has all power over all nature, that can speak all things into existence? Got power over His own life got power to give you life. Amen. Amen. And the power of Christ is wonder working. Isn't that glorious? It's wonder working. It's why I wonder how he does it all. Somebody say amen. I wonder how he puts up with me. Don't you wonder how he puts up with you? Amen. Glory to God. I, I wonder why he loved me. Amen. Ain't that right? But praise God, I, I'm so glad that he did. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Acts 10 and 38 says this, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power to, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. Oh, church, listen at me today. Jesus has a wonder-working power. Amen. He not only saves the soul, but glory to God, He heals the body. Somebody say amen. He meets every need that we have. Every need. Every need. Every need. And it's just not. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. He's mighty to save. He's forgiven. He's over nature. Amen. Of his own life, life giving, wonder working. And thank God, my God today demonstrates that power. Jesus Christ demonstrated the most greatest power that's ever been demonstrated in this life. And that's that glorious day. Romans 1 and 4 says this, and declare to be the Son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. When Jesus Christ represented the greatest power that ever be, amen, when he arose from the dead. Is that right? Church, listen at me. I'm thankful because he arose. I'm going to get to rise one day. Amen. I'm thankful today that I know Jesus Christ. Amen. The one that has the power, amen. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm thankful for that. I'm glad that He not only demonstrated it that day when He rose from the dead, but I'm glad that He'll demonstrate it day after day in your life. His power. His power to heal you. His power to save you. His power to lead you. His power to guide you. His power to strengthen you. His power to do all these things. And I've just got one more. That was seven. Amen. Amen. And the last one. Amen. The power of Christ is available for the asking. Available. St. John 14 and 13 says this, 
and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name. That will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. Amen. Aren't you glad tonight, amen, that Jesus Christ is willing to demonstrate His power in your life? whether that's to save you, whether that's to heal you, whether that's to lead you, whether that's to guide you, whether that's to give you whatever is needed in your life today. I'm thankful that He wants to demonstrate to you. His power can be demonstrated in your life. But there's one little old thing You've got to ask. There's nobody here that experienced the saving power of Christ before you asked for it. Could I get amen? But now when you ask for it, when you ask Him to forgive you of your sins and save you, did you not feel that saving power of Christ in your life? desire healing tonight, God's here healed. Here to do abundantly and above that which we even ask for. He said, if you'll ask anything in my name, I'll do it. God wants to be here to He's here to demonstrate to you. He's here to show you that you can do abundantly above that which you even ask or even think. But you've got that for it. That's the key. That's the key. You know, I'll never forget, and I'll close. But I've been hurting for some time. Some time I've been hurting. I've been limping up and down these steps, and about every step I took, my knee popped. It popped, and I was up here preaching one night. And the Lord just spoke to me and said, Exactly why haven't you had the saints of God anoint their hands with oil and pray with you? Well, I never said nothing, but it was probably because, well, you know, we like to think we're strong and we've got to go through things. And we've got to do all that. Well, I'm not sure we have to go through all the things we have to go through. Somebody say amen. The Lord of God, we just stop. We call the saints of God up and they anoint their hands full and they pray for it. My knees never pop again. Not even once. Not even once. It popped, it popped out of every other step, if not every step. It felt like every step. I ain't going to say it's never, but it felt like it. And it sure did hurt. Every time I get ready to go up the steps, it hurt. I'm here to tell you, my God wants to demonstrate His power to you. Whether that be healing, whether that be His leads to lead and guide you in the right direction, maybe you were here tonight. You've been wondering which way to go. God showed you. He said, if you lack wisdom, ask for it. Is that not right? Is that not what he said? My God's here to demonstrate his life in you. But it's only through him that anything can be accomplished. Somebody say amen. We can do all things through Christ Jesus. You know, we can try. How many of you ever looked up and found yourself... How many of y'all remember when you ever looked up and you you seen the boat rolling? You know what I'm talking about? Jesus told them, amen, when they got ready to leave the shore, he went up on the hill to pray. And he, he I can't think of the word. It's in, it's in Mark 4, I believe. And I can't think of the exact word, but but it was, up, in other words, he was a force to go. And he went up on the hill to pray for him. And and we talked about, I remember it was talked about him going up on that hill and praying for him, dispersing the other people and going up on the hill and praying for him. Glory to God. And then, then coming back and walking out on the sea and they, he could see him 
which told me they hadn't got very far. Somebody say amen. I'm here to tell you, if Jesus ain't on board, you ain't going to get too far. You ain't going to get too far. If he's not the one leading you, you ain't going to necessarily get too far. On our own, on our own power, and our own merits, in our own ways of doing things, But glory to God, when Jesus is on the way, you get somewhere. Somebody say amen. You get somewhere. Christ wants to demonstrate to you tonight. And it's up to you. If you're here tonight and you're lost and undone without Him, He wants to demonstrate He's got the power and He's mighty to save. And He's mighty to forgive. He's got the power to by no other name can be saved, but by the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. He's here to forgive. If you're here tonight and you've messed up, amen. How many, how many of y'all just confess and say right now, somewhere along the line, you've messed up? Somebody say amen. Since you know Jesus, you've messed up. We all have. Aren't you glad he was mighty to forgive? Amen. Praise the Lord. There's something, whatever your need might be here tonight. You're looking for God to lead you. You're looking for God to heal you. You're look, I'm here to tell you, Jesus is the difference. I love this message. I preached it several years ago. And I'm going to say it and then I'm going to quit, probably. But I love the thought of it. There they were. And, and, Jesus had kept them a long time teaching. And glory to God, they was all getting hungry. And there's 5,000 men there. And the disciples came, I believe, and said, Hey, we need to send these people away because they're getting hungry and it's getting dark and it's getting late. He said, Feed them. In one account, they said, Well, we've only got two pence. We can't afford that. We can't go out there and do that. We can't feed these 5,000 men that wasn't counting the women and it wasn't counting the children. And glory to God, Jesus said, well, what do you got, boys? In so many words. And he said, this one little boy out here has two, two loaves of bread and five fishes. And I get it backwards. Two fishes, five loaves, whatever it is. Backwards, forward, don't make no difference. It's still a miracle. Somebody say amen. Two fish and five loaves of bread. And glory to God. He said, well, boys, bring it over here to me. And they brought it over there, and he took it, and he blessed it right good. And break it up for them. And then five loaves of bread and then two fishes made 12 great big baskets. Or ever how many baskets it was. Glory to God. And they took it out there. Glory to God. And they fed all the 5,000 men that, that were sitting. Amen. And they got all they wanted to eat. And then they fed the women and the children. And assuming if a man just had one wife with him and one child, there was 15,000 people there. And there was 12 baskets worth of food left over. And I love this. I take it as a principle of life. The difference between what you have... And what you need is Christ's blessing. You may not have enough. You may not have enough patience. You may not be strong enough. You may think you can't do it. You may think this can't happen. But I'm here to tell you, my God's strong. I'm here to tell you, if you've got his blessings, if Christ is on board, you can do all things through Christ Jesus with the tricks that you the difference between what you have and what you need is Christ's blessing. Amen. They had two little fish, two fishes and five loaves of bread, and that's not enough to feed this side of the church. I guarantee it, Brother Keith here, he'd eat five fish by himself. That's right. But it fed 15, probably 15,000. It fed 5,000 at least. Amen. And they didn't count the women and children. So, glory to God. And there was more left over than what they had. 
That's what my God can do. That's what my God can do. If you've got a need tonight, if you're lost, I'm here to tell you the difference between what you have, which is yourself, and what you need is Christ. He's the difference. If you're here today and you're sick and afflicted, by his stripes we are healed. Somebody say amen. He's got the power to do it. There's not much I can do, but there's a whole lot I, he can do. I can pray a prayer of faith. That's about what I can do, Sister Vi. Really, that's about what anybody can do. A lot of people wants to think some man is something. He ain't something. God's who's something. Somebody say amen. Amen. You want to prove that? Let me prove that to you. Wasn't it Peter there at one time, Brother Raymond? Glory to God that by his very shadow, people was getting healed. It wasn't, they may have got healed, but it was a prayer. It was God moving through him. Because just right after that, Brother Raymond, if it would have been anything much to do with Peter, they wouldn't have said this. Right after that, they had to leave one behind because it was sick. One of the apostles. That's right. It's God that does the healing. All man can do is believe God. Somebody say amen. Trust to him and pray. That's all that can happen. If you're here tonight and you need something from the Lord, all I can tell you is, is he's got the power to do it. He's available if you'll ask. His power is available if you'll ask. He's ready to demonstrate it. Come get us a song, Vanessa. If you need saving tonight, the Lord's here to save. Whatever you need, God's here to meet that need. But it's available for the asking. But it's not available if you don't ask. God. How about how about he's got the power. 